Today on Be The Model, we're here at WMRR Radio, here with a very special guest, CEO, businesswoman, entrepreneur, the one and only, Miss Ross. Hello everybody. Today on Be The Model, we introduce businesswoman and entrepreneur, owner and program director of WMMR Radio, the founder and CEO of Wom's Gun, the one and only Miss Ross. say thank you for being with us this morning thank you for having me you know you have a very busy schedule so you made time for the beta model mm-hmm. camp to be here at this moment i'm excited miss ross first of all everybody wants to know about miss ross we see you on social media we see what's going on all the hype all the news so <laughs> this morning we want you to tell us who you are how you got into the business and what is it that you do well, I am Miss Ross, of course. Um, I am the program director of WMRR Radio. I am also the founder and CEO of 1-800-WOMSGA. 1-800-WOMSGA is an online small business directory for local small businesses. Okay. Um, and I've had that company since 2010. Um, I've had the radio station for two years. Um, what the radio station is, it's pretty much a locally based station. Um, I opened it specifically to help local small businesses, um, help the small people because, you know, with mainstream radio, small business can't afford to advertise um, like they should. They cannot afford to get their businesses out in front of their customers. So I decided to be that model and that change and help local small businesses get found and be seen. So coming up, I mean, what was there anything that particularly inspired you to get into the radio business? You know what? I kind of fell. I think it was destiny because I fell into it. Um, I was actually going to school for business because I'm a businesswoman and I wanted to sharpen my skills in regards to operating my business. And um, believe it or not, I'm talking to the, the advisor at the college, and I was in Atlanta, Georgia at the time. I moved down from Atlanta to Miami to go to Miami Dade College. And so I'm talking to him about my major, you know, what I'm trying to do. And all of a sudden he says, I don't want to, you know, change your mind about anything in regards to what you're trying to do. But he said, have you ever thought about doing radio? And I said, no. And he said, you have the voice, it's so soothing. I could listen to you talk all day. And he said, your personality, you should consider radio. And I said, you know what? I have been told over the years that I have a unique voice. And so I said, you know what? Maybe, Maybe that's what I will do. And just like that, he started giving me colleges um, for degrees in radio and TV. And he said, you know what? Miami Dade College in uh, Miami, you could um, go there and they also offer financial aid if you qualify. So just like that, I packed up and I moved to Miami. From? Atlanta. Oh, yes. Okay. So but I'm born and raised here in Florida, though. Oh, you're born in Florida. Yeah, okay. I'm born in Florida, in Central Florida. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, as a little girl, what did you see yourself doing? As a little girl, I was raised in the church, so I grew up singing. My mom's sister, my aunt, she, um, I guess she heard me singing one day, and um, at the age of about ten, she introduced me to this music director at a local church in my town and I went from there and so I was a part of the youth groups where we would travel behind an older group and we would go sing the gospel and so back then my dream was to be a singer oh so what would you tell other little girls to you know aspire to be I would tell them to never let other people project their fears um on them you know do what's in your heart at that time because in life you know life is a journey that no one really knows what is going to happen in life 
So you have to follow your heart at that time. Whatever is pulling on your heart, whatever is telling you to do whatever it is you want to do, you have to do it. Because throughout life, there are going to be lessons that you have to learn. And you never know why we are traveling down certain roads. So I would say definitely follow your dreams and don't let your mother, your father, or nobody tell you different. And I saw on um, Instagram something about an album or a single. Did you release anything musically? You mentioned that you sing or you used to sing in the choir um, in the church. Well, music is my passion now. I'm a writer, so I started out after I, you know, was singing and I moved to Atlanta, I got into ghostwriting. So I would write for a lot of artists, rappers, and I did that for a few years. And so I finally came out with my own project, which the project that I'm releasing on the 27th is a, it's, it's almost a 15 year project. It's music that I've done years ago. It's so old, but um, everybody's like, release it because no one's ever heard it. And so I'm basically reintroducing my artists to Miami because Atlanta knows me as an artist. Miami knows me as the radio personality. So it's kind of like I'm living like a double life. And that's why the mixtape is called Identity Crisis. Okay, okay, there you go. <laughs> so basically on WMMR Radio, like what's the schedule? How can people like tune in? Um, do you um, guys have particular like uh, shows or like listening hours when people can see what's going on? The good thing about uh, internet radio, we are 24 seven. So you can always go over to the website and listen to the music. You can always watch our archives in regards to our podcast. So what we do here, it's pretty much a podcasting station um, combined with regular radio format. Um, so how you listen to radio mainstream, like locally, you can do that here. Um, Bluetooth, get in your car and you can listen to us. But we have different shows um, almost every day of the week. And we have new shows joining the family. How do you pick new shows? How do you know what? Um, I'm such a, you know, I'm so into just helping people get out of that, you know, comfort zone. I don't limit nobody. I don't care what show you have. I just want you to get your ass up and do something. Yeah. And if I have to provide that platform for you, that's what I'm going to do. So I pull a lot of people into radio without them even wanting to do it. If I talk to you, I'm like, you need to be on the show. Yeah. You need to be at the station. We're going to do this show with you. We're, this is what we're going to name this show. And you're going to come and you're going to do this. And they're like, okay. You know, and everybody's always just going with my flow. And then when they get here, they're, they're grateful. Like, wow, I like doing what I do. You know? So I don't have a particular show. I want I want everybody. I want all types of shows. Nice, nice. And I need a sports show. A sports show? That would yeah. be good. I need that a sports good. commentator show. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, okay. And yeah. well coming up into this, what adversary, like what um what did you face? Did you face any struggles or did you face any um You know what? Honestly, um, and it's sad, but it's it's a harsh reality. Um my biggest struggle with starting any of my businesses and, and especially with WMRR, the competition, um, they don't reach back and help you. You know, people that uh, have been in radio, started their stations way before me and have been in business for years. My, my station is only two years old. Um, they don't help. They, they just don't help. They shut down. And I think it's because um, maybe they're threatened by you. They they look at you and they feel like you are going to be a force, you know, that may blow past them. Um, but that's that has been my greatest challenge, you know, trying to ask the people before me, you know, well, how should I do this? Or what equipment do I need? What's the best microphone? What's So everything I've done, I've actually had to get my knowledge from YouTube. Um, because none of my brothers, and I'm going to put y'all out there, none of my brothers and none of my sisters was willing to give me the knowledge that I needed to start this. But, you know, being that I'm a, I'm a seeker, I, I seek knowledge. I don't wait for nobody to tell me anything. Um, and then with the internet, it's a blessing. Yeah. So I was able to teach myself and, um, you know, learn what I needed to learn to get this baby rolling. Okay. So how, how has the support been, like, in the black community? Um, now, so, yeah, the support here is amazing. You know, now that I'm here, I'm established, um, 
the support is just I cannot complain about the support. It's Miami has given me so much love. I have a completely different perspective of Miami because living in the country, you hear the worst of Miami. You know, it's killers there. It's they're gonna, you know, do this or do that. It's like the, the drug community of the world, and it's just just this horrible story that you were told. And so I've always had a fear of coming here. So as I got older, I wanted to challenge that fear. I'm like, I'm from Miami. Like, I want to go down there because for me, if you're this color, you're my brother, you're my sister. I'm going to talk to you, I'm going to speak to you. And that's just my personality. And Miami, like I said, has welcomed me. Um, they support me, they respect me. And I have no, I have no problems. I really don't, and I and I just I love like being here. So how would a local artist or any artist reach out to you and get their stuff played on your platform? Um, hit me up on Instagram, of course, Miss Ross Radio 305. You can um hit me up on the radio station page WMRR on air. <laughs> That's the station page. I have so many platforms. Um, send me an email, Miss Ross Radio at Gmail. I always like artists to send me at least one song, your best song. Send me your best of the best because I will reject it, all right? Um, and I usually give artists 24 hours of rotation, you know, just to let the world hear you. Um, I usually try to bring them in for an interview, give them their 15 minutes of fame, okay. you know, and make them feel like the celebrities that they are going to be. Right. Um, and, and that's what we do here. You know, we make locals feel like celebrities. Right. Um, I treat locals and everybody like a celebrity. Nobody gets different treatment here it doesn't matter who you are know you know you so that's how okay, that's great. Yeah. and if you could go back and tell your younger self give your younger self advice the young miss ross mm. what would you tell her and what what message would you give her to help her come up and be the miss ross that you are right now i would tell her spare no feelings do not get caught up in love follow your dreams and don't ever move anywhere for a man. <laughs> ever. <laughs> yeah, um, but definitely I would tell you, yeah, I would definitely tell myself to um, be strong in my decisions in regards to me. You know, make my decisions for me and not for somebody else. Because all my life I've made decisions for my mate, I've made decisions for my mom. I've, I've done things my entire life, almost 20 years of my life, was pleasing other people. And it wasn't until I had my two daughters, and um, I don't know, I went through some type of crisis or something after I had my children. I don't know if it was postpartum depression, but after I had them babies, I came back with a vengeance like, no, 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 it's about me. I'm doing this for me. I don't care what you say. I don't care how you feel about it. Write me off. I am doing this for me. And I can tell you, with that mindset, it has completely changed my life. Completely. So do it for you. Do it for you. Yeah. And where do you see yourself, your business? Oh, I see myself a, almost a billionaire. And what I give myself about six years to five years, I'll be sitting on about 600 million. Wamsa is my cash cow. Okay. Yeah. Um, but seriously, Wamsa is estimated to make 600 million in five years. That's if I follow my strategic marketing advertising plan and my business plan. And final question, what does be the model mean to you? Oh man, be the model means to me, um, living by example, um, practice what you preach. So if you are going to be that model, you have to make sure that you are living that thing. Like for me, I don't touch on anything that I'm not doing. That's just not my area. I can't tell you not to do something and I'm doing it. I have to first learn from my mistake before I can you know, tell you what to do or what not to do. So um, for me, and, and this is my walk every day, my walk every day is um, being that example. You know, not only telling people how to do something or what they should do, but being that example and showing them that I am doing. I'm not just telling you something. This is what I'm doing. Right. So right. that is what people are doing. Right. All right, so there it is. <laughs> Great interview with the one and only Miss Ross. Follow her on social media, Instagram, WMMR Radio. Tune in.
and be the model.